Hey guys, it's Jenny Silver with a California update for you on Wednesday, October 13th. Yesterday, the House of Representatives passed the stopgap measure intended to keep the government funded through December 3rd. In a vote of 219 versus 206, it was Democrats versus Republicans, with no Republicans voting in favor of increasing the debt ceiling. Secretary Janet Yellen stated that without an increase to the debt ceiling, not only would the U.S. default on its debts, but payments to important programs such as Social Security benefits, disabled veteran benefits, active duty military pay, and other programs would be stalled. Next, Social Security recipients will see a 5.9% increase in their monthly payments effective in 2022. Increase in cost of living adjustments to Social Security benefits is the largest increase since 1982. It comes about due to the high level of inflation incurred in 2021. The amount of increase on average for a Social Security beneficiary's monthly payment amount averages out to $92 per month in increase. Next, the Farm and Food Worker Relief Grant Program is providing approximately $700 million in Consolidated Appropriations Act funds to provide grants to state agencies, tribal entities, and nonprofit organizations with experience in providing support or relief services to farm workers or meatpacking workers. Entities receiving these awards will then distribute relief payments to frontline farm workers, meat packing workers, and grocery store workers who incurred expenses preparing for, preventing exposure to, and responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. Awards to larger entities will generally range from $5 million to $50 million, which then would be distributed to workers. Next, the Biden administration has announced that the Port of Los Angeles will now move to 24-7 operations with workers working around the clock in an attempt to improve the supply chain problems being experienced. Under the plan, the Port of Los Angeles will nearly double its total number of hours that workers are moving cargo. According to officials, workers from the International Longshore and Warehouse Union will be filling in the additional hours. Next, this Friday is an important deadline for those of you hoping to claim a Golden State stimulus payment. If you are hoping to claim a $600 Golden State stimulus payment or the $500 additional dependent payment, for those of you that claim dependents on your 2020 taxes, October 15th is the deadline by which you must have filed your 2020 income taxes. Unless you receive SS SSP, CalWORKs, or CAPI and claimed your Golden State Stimulus 1 back during that round of eligibility. For those of you waiting to receive a Golden State Stimulus 2, you must have filed your income taxes by October 15th in order to qualify. The Golden State Stimulus continues to be paid out in approximately two-week increments. With the last direct deposit wave initiated on October 5th, that puts the estimate for when the next round of direct deposits should start around October 19th. The California Franchise Tax Board has not yet announced a specific date for the next round of direct deposits, but has stated that direct deposits are anticipated to go at approximately every two weeks until October 31st. For those of you who will be waiting on a paper check, paper checks continue to be mailed out through January 11th. Next, the California Office of the Small Business Advocate has announced a new opening of a website portal for small business owners to get connected with resources and information. CalOSBA.ca.gov is a dedicated California small business portal which connects California's small business community with critical resources available through state-funded small business technical assistance programs and other state resources. On this website, small business owners and self-employed individuals can access the following information. Small business technical assistance centers which offer specialized support for no cost or low cost, financing information including state and federal capital programs and tax credit initiative programs, permits, licenses, and regulations, the Business Learning Center to help business owners navigate different stages of developing their business. Okay, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Please click like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. In a vote of 219 to 2 something and 6, 216, 236, 206.